Okay, so this is a reading passage question from the SH, SAT. And I suggest that you pause this video and maximize the viewing screen so that you can read this passage. Or you can go to my Specialized High School website to review or download this passage just to make it easier to read. I'm going to start this video assuming that you have already read this passage. And what I'm going to point out is that they do give us little number markers all throughout the passage to help us keep track of certain lines. And when you read it, I do suggest you annotate um, or underline things that you think are important. Now, I didn't do that here. My strategy was to read this first paragraph just to get a sense of where this is going. Stop, go look at the first question, and then see if I can answer it. Uh, I don't, for myself, always think it's effective to read the entire thing at once. So you might want to try that strategy. You just read a section to get a sense of where the writing is going, look at the first question, and then if you can, answer it. If not, go back and keep reading. So I started reading it, and I knew that this was about a saber-toothed cat. And it talks about its history and so forth, and then I'll go to the first question. What the first question says is, which of the following best tells what this passage is about? Well, I mean, I would say this is about saber-toothed tigers um, and what they are all about. Of course, they're not going to make it that easy. So let's look at this. Uh, choice A says, how scientists find saber-tooth bones. Um, that would be true, except um, this is really all about um, saber-tooth tigers, not just the bones and how they find them. They do find them in the La Brea tar pits. They say that right here. When you read it, you'll see that. Um, but it's about much more than that. Here they talk about the prey uh, of the saber-tooth, the types of... Uh, the way it hunted is down here. The way they interacted with each other is over here. It's about much more than bones, so A is out. Next, it says the relationship between mastodons and saber-tooths. Now, be careful. When I read this first section, that seems to be the main focus of, of the writing. But as you go on, you realize that's not what this is all about. In fact, from this point on, from line 15 down and all the way over here, they don't even mention mastodons anymore. And again, the mastodons were just what the, the tigers were hunting. So B is out as well. C says how the La Brea tar pits were formed. That's very interesting, and they and they, they do mention the La Brea tar pits, but they don't say um, at anywhere how those pits were actually formed. They say what they do and how they helped capture animals for fossilization, but they never ever mention how they're formed. So C is out as well. So now, just by process of elimination, we have a 50% chance of getting this of getting this right. So D and E are left. Well, D says, how knowledge about saber tooth is gained from bone studies? Well, they start this passage off by talking about uh, what we know about saber tooth, some of the general things, who they hunted. Uh, they were one of the most ferocious carnivores. Um, and then they go on to say, well, how do we know all this stuff? The, the, the La Brea pit trap them, and from those trappings, we could, did, could make all these conclusions about their jaws and their bones, about how they hunted and how they interacted with each other. So this is a passage that tells us how scientists actually gain the knowledge about the tiger. E is close to the mark. It says why saber tooths are studied by scientists. Um, it would be correct to say how saber tooths are studied by scientists, but the why is not here. The why would talk about, well, what motivates scientists to actually go out and study about this, this topic, and we don't really see that here. So D is the answer for 21. And 22 says, which of the following is not mentioned in the passage as a behavior for saber tooths? And many of these, um, when they have something that's not mentioned, you'll be able to actually find these in the passage if you look, or you can re recall where they're actually mentioned. It does talk about uh, the animals actually purring. So K is out. It says it up here somewhere, I think. Um, it had a heart for its own kind. And wait, wait, wait. It says it's somewhere. Well, can I find it? Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, right at the end. A, the study of a saber-toothed throat bones indicate that the cats possessed the ability, ability to purr as well as to roar. So purring is, well, that's out. Um, sharing food it talks about that as well. Up here, I think, um, somewhere talks about it. Oh, during periods, uh, researchers have reasoned that other cats must have allowed wounded comrades to share in their kills, so they shared their food. Um, biting prey. Well, it talks about the jaws, about attacking. 
all throughout. That's out. Charging prey. It mentions that the animal is a, a powerful charger, right? A powerful forward charge. You can find those phrases right in the passage. So J is the only thing that they don't mention directly in this passage. And there are more questions on this. There are four more, and I'll, 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 I'll go through those in the next video. It'll be on the same passage. All right, hope this helped.